I, I'm looking for an EV to replace the Tesla I crashed a while back. So I went to test drive a couple of Model S's as the Model S is a strong candidate for me to replace my old Model S. And um, I know there's differences between the so-called facelift and Raven models. The facelift being built from 16 till 2019 and Raven from 2019 till 2021. So I went to a car dealership that had a 2018 facelift S. 75D and 2020 S long range Raven. So here's my take on the cars while driving them. Something I'm interested to know if there's actually a difference in the rides of these of these cars. This one that I'm driving now is uh, uh, late 18 75D with. Uh, Pretty much regular options, except I mean, regular options. The seats are to me the most comfortable version of the seats, which is the uh, uh, half half leather seats. And, uh, this particular car seems to have quite a lot of wind noise coming in. I don't know why. It's my own. Tesla, previous Tesla did not have this much wind noise in the front when driving. I don't know what's wrong. But other than that, this is pretty much kind of uh, my standard of uh, what I'm comparing against because this is feels so so familiar coming in after two Model S's. And the previous one, like I said, being exactly the same as this one. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good reference car. I want to also compare the consumption on this because Raven's supposed to be a really efficient car. So it's interesting to see what kind of uh, consumption I'm going to get. So this car, how does it compare? I've driven 11 kilometers uh, in 13 minutes and it was 18.2 per 100 was the consumption. We'll see how the Raven does. Well, now I'm driving the Raven, 2020. Raven from, uh, what's, it, what's it? I think it was September, this one. And the company that I'm looking at it from, the car dealership, they didn't even bother to take out the winter tires, which is kind of, yeah, you know. Anyways, let's see how this feels now. Well, there is a slight difference. It's a bit more comfortable, yes. I, can, I, conc I concur, yeah. Raven is more comfortable than in the comfort mode, of course. Let's see, there is supposed to be power, more power on Raven. I'm down to 8% on battery, so it's not going to be a whole lot. Let's see if the Raven will take off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely more power. <laughs> I was surprised. I was surprised. I was expecting. Uh, that much of a difference, but yeah, there's definitely much more power on the long range Raven than on the 75D. Which is something, uh, okay, does not want to give me autopilot this one. Great, can't test that. Doesn't matter, I don't need it, I can drive myself. So, back to the comfort, yeah, on the highway. Comfort mode, uh, slight difference, yeah. Mm. This does handle better in the corners than uh, than the 75D, the previous model. Yeah, Raven has improved suspension. Now I believe it. Yeah. 
definitely. Okay, yeah. I'm sold. I'm not going to buy a 18 slash 19 non Raven model. I want to more Raven now. <laughs> Yeah, there is there is a difference in suspension and drivability. Yeah. But is it worth the difference? I'm not saying. That's something I have to think about. So, what's my take on the Raven? Trip was the same as uh, with with the previous model. Yes and uh, that had 18.2 and this one has 15.5 so yeah and even though I did pe floor the pedal once uh, on this one and not the other one so I did not drive exactly the same but that should hurt this uh, Ramus fuel, no, fuel efficiency <laughs> anyways anyways yeah this one does definitely use less electricity and is more efficient so you can do really really good driving on the, on the dual dual motor long range version and as for drivability in general uh, it is smoother and it drives better than the previous i have to agree on that so yeah i enjoy this one previous one i did not this one I do so that's definitely worth something if I want to go for a little bit a little bit of a spin so what is my take on the Tesla Model S the facelift versus Raven I think there is a definite difference to the favor of Raven it is more efficient uh, about 15% in my absolutely uh, flawless and uh, uh, or variables taken into account test it was about 15 percent yeah right and uh, it's not so more comfortable and handles better in my subjective uh, opinion and that's all that counts for me anyways but they also also are in line with the tests that i have read from the interwebs and uh, now I have to decide is that extra handling and uh, comfort and efficiency worth the extra money of course it's a newer car also so that's something to take into account also but then I have to also decide if Tesla Model S is the new car or next car that I am buying because there are other cars that I'm interested in too like the Model Y and the new Model 3. And then and there is always the pickups, electric pickups, which I'm still hoping to find. So stay tuned, and I'll have a video of Cybertruck, my first encounter with the Cybertruck coming up later on. So stay tuned, use the buttons, you know, thumbs up, down, click, follow, do what you want. <laughs>